Remember these numbers, 2009, 2.5 billion, and 100,000. I'm Jeff Glucker, and this is a brief history of, where we take a quick look at interesting subjects in the electric vehicle and mobility space. Be sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for the deeper dive down the road. Today, though, we're talking about Rivian. When talking about Rivian, a company that seemingly came out of nowhere with a pair of rapid and very luxurious electric trucks, the numbers I mentioned a second ago are important. Okay, the fact that Rivian says its electric R1T pickup truck and R1S SUV accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 3 seconds is a pretty impressive number too. But to get a better grasp on this audacious automaker requires going back more than a decade. That's because it was in 2009 when R.J. Scaringe, a car-loving college grad who earned his PhD in mechanical engineering at MIT, decided to start his own car company. In case you didn't know, this goal usually turns out to be as easy as selling ice cream in Antarctica or finding toilet paper anywhere. The employee count at this time is simple to remember. One, just old R.J. all by his lonesome. His tiny company started to grow, however, and went by the name of Avera Motors. Its home was in Rockledge, Florida, a short drive from Cape Canaveral. The company's first product was a sporty electric powered coupe that if we're being honest, was no beauty queen. After years of engineering and testing, Scaringe abruptly decided the company needed a bigger and better goal. Another decision was made for Avera by Hyundai. That was to change their name. Hyundai thought Avera sounded too much like the Azera sedan and, well, they had it first. Rather than call the lawyers, Avera became Rivian, a mashup of Indian River, located near the company's soon-to-be former Florida home, and upstakes for Plymouth, Michigan. This is the point where Rivian's story is more familiar. Having decided to focus on electric trucks and center itself in the Midwest, Rivian continued to work largely behind the scenes until its big moment came at the 2018 Los Angeles Auto Show. It was there that the R1S and R1T broke cover and, justifiably or not, Rivian started being talked about as the Tesla of trucks. The square-shaped design of the Rivian trucks is backed up by serious performance. With an estimated 400 miles of range and acceleration arrival Porsche and Ferrari sports cars, Rivian set a production deadline of late 2020. The price for a mid-range model, one with about 300 miles of range, is about $70,000. Rivian's factory is in the most normal of places, normal Illinois, in fact, in a huge complex once owned by Mitsubishi. But wait a minute, remember those numbers I said at the beginning? Where did the last two figures come into play? Well, since making headlines during the LA Auto Show, Rivian has amassed about two and a half billion dollars of investment coin from the likes of Amazon.com, T. Rowe Price, Ford Motor Company, and disclaimer alert, our parent company, Cox Automotive. Why would Ford invest so heavily in a competitor? Well, it's the old adage. If you can't beat them, join them. The skateboard style chassis used in Rivian trucks will form the basis for a Lincoln badged electric SUV, and the tech could support an EV F-150. It's also going to be the foundation for 100,000 electric delivery vans ordered by Amazon. They'll be built alongside the R1S and R1T in normal Illinois, with the full order to be completed by 2030. That's the Rivian story so far. There's certainly much more to come, but this was just a brief history of it all. When talking about Rivian, a comp when talking about, mm -hmm, it's also going to the, it's also going to the, Okay, the fact that the Rivian R1T and...